This SAP one, okay. I, I gotta trust, the, the worm is a recipe for like believers winning, but me still getting roasted. Like not, nothing is tilting in this game. Like when you get eight wins and the believers are like, yay, be a skilled kilt. And then everybody else says, uh, you know, F, 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 here's why you lost, right? Like that was a dub kind of. I'm going to say this is a feed me, buy me, buy me situation. This is an interesting spot. Did you get an incredible sleep last night or something? Uh, like the opposite, but that's okay. The probably, if you ever see me and, and I'm having trouble making words um, connect into sentences with like a coherent idea, that's a situation where I got too much sleep. My brain is like trying to shake the, the potassium feldspar off. You ever see me in a situation like this where I'm like manic? I'm probably like at a little too little sleep. But I did also see an article and it's heavy like, dude, just trust me. Because it was not even an article. It was literally just a tweet. But it was like, the scientists are uh, prognosticating that maybe the model of seven to eight hours of sleep per night is actually based on flawed reasoning. And instead, uh, being tired is normal. And, you know, a side, much like hunger, just a sign that you need to relax during the day or something. I was like, well, that's interesting. I mean, that's not the way, like, the world is set up at all. But that is... I, I collect stuff like that as copium for when I'm tired. Like, if you ever find yourself Googling, like, effects of three hours of sleep, you can use some of that information to make your day feel not so bad the next day. Because you just lie to yourself. You're like, I read online that it's mostly psychological. Okay, feed me. You're you're very strong. Look at this. You're in, you're gonna be an eight six. Any second now. My favorite Google search is what happens when you stay awake for twenty four hours. It's so funny that like I think when you're like twelve, you think that could kill you. That's like how a 12-year-old does drugs, is staying awake for 24 hours straight. Or saying Bloody Mary in the mirror like three times. I think that the way that... Uh, here's how like a lack of sleep affects me, okay? Zero to 24 hours awake, I'm somewhere between alert and tired. If I decide that I'm pulling like an all-nighter, hour 24, I'm like more energetic than I've ever been in my life. Hour 25, I'm asleep on the hardwood floor. I used to do it, like, my sleep schedule in college was so messed up that, like, in my final semester, I had no more... This was also, like, in the recession, they, like, cut a bunch of elective classes um, in order to not go out of business, I guess, or, or as a cost-cutting measure. Um, so in my final semester, uh, to get my degree, I only needed like a few classes. So Monday through Thursday, all of my classes started at like 1 p.m. or later. And then Friday, the only like mandatory, mandatory class for my degree was a seminar course. So it was like a public speaking class that happened at 8 a.m. every Friday. So usually... Like, my sleep schedule would be fucked Friday through Thursday, right? Friday through Wednesday, I guess. And then Thursday night, I would pull an all-nighter, go to my public speaking class, and then take, like, a four-hour nap when I got home. And honestly, there was, like... It was kind of sick. I had a lot of great naps to, to uh, Beach House. Put on some Beach House on my laptop on FUBAR 2000 and then just take a little snooze. That's the damn dream right there. Are you even playing Super Auto Pets? Sorry, um, I was chilling. If that's a problem, I'm sorry that you were 
offended by my story. It wasn't my intention to offend you with my story, but then go to the brass on Friday nights. No, I didn't look. I got nothing against the brass. I watched a lot of the 2010 Vancouver Olympics there. I didn't spend a lot of time at the brass, okay? Like, don't offend me. I spent a lot of time at uh, the grad club. Little, a lot of time at, at QP, for sure. Okay, good stuff. Not QP mayonnaise. I'm going in, man. Feed me, feed me. Look at that. Two good units. That should be enough. As long as we never encounter another honey badger. Down bad Andre. We won a round. I don't believe it. <clears throat> How was your family day? Uh, it was good, thanks for asking. But what I really want to talk about is how funny is it that America has a President's Day? Like, like what's up with that? I'm, this is insane. This is insanity. Like in British Columbia, I don't know if it's in the rest of Canada yet, but in British Columbia, we have a day to celebrate the family. And then in America, they're like, this used to be the day where we celebrated George Washington's birthday. It's a, it's a big special boy. Somebody's turning fucking 300. George Washington. Like, it's just, it's so funny to me. What about the Queen's Day in Canada? Every day is the Queen's Day in Canada. <clears throat> but I'm assuming you're speaking specifically about Victoria Day. Victoria Day is stupid as hell. I always thought, and I, this, it's gone up, right? Like, I don't know how many people watch the Isaac episodes at this point, um, or how many Isaac episodes there are at this point. But, uh, yes, yes, yes. Dude, I don't care. You're Pog. I don't care who knows it. You're so Pog, you don't even know you're Pog. I don't need this. Okay, hold on. This is good. Um, I think that every. Like, a holiday named after a person should expire after 100 years. I don't think we should be still having Victoria Day in 2065, you know. It, it, regardless of Queen Victoria's legacy, positive or negative, like, I'm not saying we should cancel Queen Victoria posthumously. I'm more like, after 100 years, I think there should be, like, a day... Like a little civic ceremony where you go, thank you for your service in memoriam, Queen Victoria. From now on, this day is known as Terry Fox Day. And then you get like another 100 years or 50 years of like Terry Fox Day or something like that. And then people are like, you know, there's new heroes enter the pantheon every generation. We can't have, like, the, the generation where the Zoomers are going to be, like, their great-grandparents and they're still celebrating, like, Queen Victoria Day. It doesn't make any sense. They're going to need, like, a Justin Trudeau Day by then. You know, we got new saints being canonized every year. I'm just trying to cause problems now. Rob Ford Day. Here it comes. Rob Ford Day, baby. Okay, you get out of here. You might as well be combined, and then I'm going in, man. You need to scale. You can now move up. Buy me, sell me. What about Tom Ford Day? Tom Ford, American fashion designer? Fashion designer? Glasses design? No, I'm thinking of Warby Parker. I'm disgusting. This is gross. Can't wait for Seth Rogen Day. Dude, honestly, Seth Rogen's pretty cool. I've long been a, a Seth Rogen defender. I feel like it was maybe like 2013 to 2019 was like peak, uh, like fuck Seth Rogen. 
I'm like, I'm kind of into Seth Rogen. I think he's a funny guy. I think his movies are watchable. He seems like an affable chap. I, I'm, I'm saying it. I don't care who cares. I don't care who says no. I, in this chat, we respect Seth Rogen, okay? 4131? Yes. You could get sold. Hold on. You can get sold so we can get some buy sell going in the future. I'm into this, man. He's not funny. Come on. What do you mean he's not funny? Come on. What are you talking about? Does he play the same actor every time? Yeah, but so does Nathan Fillion. And people are creaming their pants over. Oh my god. My Oh, Captain, my Captain. Like, Just say you hate him because he's ripped and then move on. Like, learn to deal with it, okay? No, I haven't. I've, I've not seen Sausage Party and I never will. But <laughs> regardless. I don't want to ruin my opinion of Seth Rogen by seeing Sausage Party, okay? I don't think he makes, like, the best movies in human history. I'm just, like, it... I feel like the guy gets kind of like a bad rap a little bit. Okay, fine. You know what? I have seen his Pickle movie. I didn't think it was that good. I'm not, like... I don't think Seth Rogen is, like, the best actor in Hollywood. I'm just saying, like... I think he gets a bad rap. Yeah, okay, I've seen the interview. It's ass, okay? But, like... <laughs> I've seen a lot... All these movies that you're talking about, yeah, I've seen them, and they're not that good, okay? But, like, so what? So what? Pineapple Express, pretty good. This is the end. It was very funny. Honestly, you get out of here. We're rolling boar. Can you believe this? What a world we're in today. What a world. Also, he's in some good stuff. But, like, people don't just choose not to watch it for whatever reason. Like, 50-50 is a great movie. Long Shot? Is that the, the one with Charlize Theron? Where she's, uh running for president that's a good movie he's a don't say he's a worse adam sandler he's a better adam sandler that's not even like up for debate five one six three four minus two do you think it's possible that you just think adam sandler is better than seth rogan because you're old And, like, you grew up watching Adam Sandler's shitty movies thinking they were good because you were just, like, a stupid little kid. But then you were older and snobbier when the Seth Rogen movies came out. And you recognized them for what they were, which is, like, you know, mindless comedies. Adam Sandler's been in Uncut Gems. Uh, Adam Sandler's fucking, like, 58 years old. Seth Rogen's, like, 33. It's gonna take him some time to get the gritty roles, Okay. Like did, Adam Sandler was still saying singing the Hanukkah song on SNL when he was Seth Rogen's age, probably. I, I think. I don't know. He's 42? What the hell? He looks great. He's 39. Okay. I knew he was around my age. But also older, because, like... I mean, I'm pretty sure I was, like, 12 when Undeclared was on TV, but... Yeah, but Seth Rogen smokes cannabis. I thought that's what chat liked. I thought that was like chat's thing. I thought that was something they were into. Ew. Ew, cannabis. Kiaris? We don't do that here. This is a very serious chat, as you can tell. Hey, do you want to like have some foods of some sort? Do you want to like get buffed at all? Hey, kid, you want to see a dead body? I don't know why. When Malf was talking about, like, uh, 
how he went to go to Netflix and watch Beer Fest, but then it didn't have Beer Fest, so it suggested American Sniper. I don't know what was wrong with me, but the first thing I thought of in my head, I don't even know where this shit is from, but I was like, I wanted to reply, hey kid, you ever see a dead body? I don't need, is that from like Stand By Me or something? By the way, nice turkey, tiger, fly, double deer build. Very, very nice, very, very clever, very creative. Choose outcome, we pay out the believers. I can't believe that run did as well as it did. Oh, now this is the squad, man. This is the damn squad. Be an edible mushroom. How how weird would that be? You'd be like, what? Edible mushroom? I don't think so. Turkey is still swag. I mean, it's like the opposite of swag, but it is like very good in the meta. Don't talk to me about Elden Ring, okay? Not because I'm sick of being asked, but because now I am immune to the hype cycle and even I am being hyped for Elden Ring. I don't know if you uh, are involved with the industry. I follow a lot of industry people. There's these things called embargoes which means you're not allowed to say how you feel about a game that you're playing uh, publicly. But if you're in like a private Slack chat or something like that, you could be like, well, have you reading this boss? I thought I would use lightning to strip his armor away. Um, otherwise, it's illegal. Though I'm not in any of those Slack chats, but I follow a lot of like games writers and journalists, and they're all like subtweeting about... Uh, Elden Ring, they're like, it's, whoa, I have a review coming out this week of a game that's so amazing. And you're like, well, I wonder what it could fucking be. And I'm not mad. I'm just like, I'm ready to play it now. I held off on getting excited for like a long time because there's no point in getting excited way in advance. And now I'm like, I'm ready. I'm looking forward to it. Welcome to the hype train with the rest of us. Thanks, I'm happy to be here. Freeze me? Feed me. You should get fed with this. But I will say, this has also been... Because Elden Ring is coming out soon, like this week, um, there's been a lot of people talking about like the Soul series in general on Twitter. And there's been a lot of like ass Dark Souls 2 takes and it kind of like I get it but it kind of drives me crazy because I was one of them but like I've seen so many people did like their power rankings of the Souls games and didn't have Dark Souls 2 last and when somebody criticizes the like Dark Souls 2 they're like you know well you know it tried something new but I respected it I'm like no it's it fucking sucks Take it, I don't know, maybe, there's room for differences of opinion, but I thought that too until I played it again like two years ago, and I was like, no, everybody was actually right, I was wrong, this game is ass. I mean, it's ass within the context of the Souls series, it's not ass like, like shit. It's not great, <laughs> but... I was like, I, one of the takes, and you're entitled to your, it's just video games. Like, nobody cares that much, right? I'm just, I'm bantering, I guess. But, uh, like, the first Souls tier list that I saw on Twitter had Dark Souls 2 second last and Dark Souls last. And I was like, come on, man. It's Dark Souls 2 last, Demon Souls remake. Then, I would probably say, all the rest are really good. But I'm like, Sekiro, Dark Souls 1, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3 at the top, maybe? They, those games are all great. Like, they're, they might all be 10s. And I also need to say that a, a lot Bloodborne gets a ton of respect and it deserves it. Dark Souls 3 doesn't get as much respect. And this was my old take. So like I understand where it comes from. 
But like Dark Souls 3 is like a bit of a rehash of Dark Souls 1, but it's actually not. It's like a love letter. Like, Dark Souls 1 is like Blade Runner, and then Dark Souls 3 is like Blade Runner 2049. It's like, if you watched Blade Runner 2049 with, like, the most cynical mind, you would be like, I get it, neon colors. Whoa, they brought back Harrison Ford, bat chest. But, like, actually, it fucking kind of slaps, and the bosses are incredible. I, I thought that it was, like, Rise of Skywalker, we fucked up The Last Jedi... Boom, nostalgia, Dark Souls 3, Rise of Skywalker. Wait, did I say Force Awakens? We kind of fucked up the second one, and then the third one, we're like, bring J.J. Abrams back, and like, I don't know, play it. But it's actually like, you know, Blade Runner 1, followed by Prometheus, followed by like Blade Runner 2049. Sorry, I love Super Auto Pets gameplay. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. Mommy, sorry. As long as we're doing bad bits, we might as well double down. Hey, you want to see a dead body? Check this shit out. Look at this. Two tropical fish. Here's the thing. is like, the tropical fish is not good enough to roll one of them. What if you just rolled two of them instead? I suppose I should have expected something like this. Wait, when people say bat chest, they're making fun of me? Jay, I'm sorry you had to find out this way. It's true. Sloth blind, don't do this to me. Don't don't sit here and lie to me. I'm okay losing this round as well. Like, I'm just being straight up with you. If we lose this round, we lose this round. I'm okay with the four squad Marty no llama. Llamaless. I'm not buying a cricket and the worm is non non runnable. So what do you do? You go up against the three squad. That's what you freaking do. <laughs> I guess. Hold on, hold on. A draw. Garlic was doing work, man. Okay, this now we're back. Believers with God is my witness. I think you're gonna win this round. We we just got some insanely good stuff. This is a big time. Honestly, this is a big time sell me, buy me, and you're going to stick, you're going to leave. You should get the tropical fish bonus, though. Um, and then feed me again. I think this can do it. It's weird, but I think it can do it. And this team is not all that in a bag of potato chips, so who cares? Sell me. Buy me. Meh. I thought he bought every time. Rude. Okay. Roll me. Could have gone garlic, but this is what I was hoping for was a turtle. And then we can pill it at our earliest convenience. Now you got to rework your whole squad just a little bit here. See, I'm paying attention now. Nah, not interested. I'm paying attention now. Sea turtle, buy a turtle. My hair, you like it? Just bought it. Is something wrong with my brain that I can't uh, think of uh, a song by Ariana Grande without the phrase Schmidt Davidson popping into my head? Is that, a, is that an issue? That's a problem. Okay, that's good to know. I'm just curious. I would like to pill you, but first, but first, take one of those. We can weather the storm of a loss here. Some buy cells. Waiting for the day NL takes off the ball cap. Me too, man. Me too. Any day now. By the way, there was a post... You guys are dumb. Don't take this the wrong way. Like, it's not a personal attack or whatever. But there was a post on the NLSS Circle Jerk that was like this photo of NL with hair. And it, it's a photo of me with hair. Everyone was roasting me. Wow, so his genetics are so bad. He's 19 and his hairline is like back here. Well, that's not a receding hairline. That shit is receded. You guys... It was in the process of being shaved off. 
That was not my normal hairstyle. The, the first time I shaved my head, I had my friend do it outside because I had like normal-ish hair. I would just, you know, just let nature take it, you know, back to the soil it returns. I was like, you know what would be funny? If you shaved like a George Costanza into my head and then we took a photo of it just to know what it looks like. Little did I know that like literally 15 years later, people would be like, look at how far back his hairline was. You think that's how people go bald? They get stubble here? Like your hair just slowly gets shorter and shorter until it's just stubble? The follicles like close in, man. They stop growing. Sure, buddy. Explain the t-shirt over the collared shirt. Which was the style at the time, okay? All the cool guys in 2007 were doing an Old Navy button-up with a graphic t-shirt on top of it, okay? And some boot-cut jeans. Total cost of the outfit, probably like $32. No, they weren't. They, they were. And they were cutting thumb holes in the long sleeve sweatshirts so that they had a place for their thumb to go. That, which was the style at the time. It's era appropriate, okay? I was not fashionable, just for the record. But like, that was, that was I could have afforded that. I forgot we had this thing. That was contemporary, okay? Canada style was a bit behind the times. That's that's definitely plausible. I grew up not in a major city center. We probably inherited fashion from Toronto like six years after it came by way of uh, New York. Very good. I think you could probably go at this point. You've, you've served your purpose. I mean, like, when people wanted to, like, buy nice clothes in my hometown, it's probably different now. It's come up a little bit. It's changed. Um, son of a... They would go to the Old Navy, and I'm not messing with you. Sure, we can try this. Believer Threshold, can you believe it? I remember I had, like, a bad wardrobe in high school. Then I, but I had a very fashionable friend, and I was like, hey, I, you like clothes. If I gave you, like, a budget, could you take me out shopping and get me, like, nice clothes that, like, look nice for a high school senior? And she was like, yeah. We made two stops. Old Navy, American Eagle Outfitters. I don't think I was cool enough for Hollister. Or Aeropostale. Yes! Hold on. The Believers got paid out. That's wonderful news for everybody. A goat. What about West 49? I never... I don't think I ever purchased anything from West 49. But I did accompany a friend of mine to buy a skateboard at West 49. But we lived in the country, and that dude had a gravel driveway. So he would, like, take his skateboard out on his gravel driveway, and it would just sink into the, into the gravel. <laughs> it's just an extreme waste of money. The Slippy Fist. Hey, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. You remember Spencer's gifts? My mall, I don't know if it changed, but when I lived there, it, we did not have a Spencer's gifts. Uh, it had... What am I doing, man? A store that was exactly the same as Spencer's Gifts, but it was called the It Store. And it had, like, the the electric sphere where when you, like, touched it, a little lightning bolt hit your finger. And it had that, like, metal pin thing where you could, like, stick your face in it. And it had, like, uh, you know, cake pans in the shape of a penis for bachelorette parties and stuff like that. It Mother fricker, you can live at the mall. Um, okay, you need some of this, I think. 
Come on. Come on. It almost, it pays for itself, dude. It's free real estate. What the hell? You're not a friend? Speak friend and enter. I forgot about the it store. We got so lucky there. I mean, the id store was like kind of pog. It's one of those stores you would go into as like a 10 year old and your parents would tell you like, don't look at this shelf. Cause you'd go in there and you'd be like, whoa, a t-shirt that says like, I'm with stupid. And then you look on the other side and you're like, caca. <laughs> I went into an FYE the other day, not a single compact disc. Dude, like, so I'm bringing it back to the fashion sense for a second. In Canada, we have the British chain HMV. That's where I used to buy some of my albums at. Legit, when I was rocking the t-shirt over top of the collared shirt look, every time I went into HMV, people would like come up to me and be like, hey, I'm looking for the new uh, Everlast album. And I was like, I don't work here. Sorry. But then I, I remember like maybe the first time I realized that like my childhood was over was when I walked into an HMV and it was just all like posters and action figures and no CDs. HMV, like it used to be a fun store to go into when people still bought music physically. Like I remember I bought a copy of the Wilco documentary, I Am Trying to Break Your Heart There. It wasn't just a place you go to get the new Jennifer Lopez album. They carried like one copy of cool stuff as well. And then if you bought it, sometimes the cashier would be like, whoa, like I've been like waiting to watch this, but I haven't seen it myself. And like, do you recommend it? And I'm like, I don't know. I haven't seen it either. That's why I'm buying it. You could tell that they were just like, they wanted to work at a record store, but the only thing that was available in the 2000s was HMV. So they spent all day being like, you know, beep Millennium by the Backstreet Boys. That'll be $22.99. And then eventually someone would take out, you know, like, Rain Dogs by Tom Waits or something like that, and they'd be like, this is my moment. Nine wins? I don't know what's happened this run. Sure, take one of these. And now they're all Funko Pop Emporiums. You're absolutely right. Now that's where you go to buy the Funko Pops. We're gonna draw. Come on, man. You look like a big Tom Waits guy. I'm a big Tom Waits guy. No, no question. He's one of the few singers with two voices that I like both of them. We talked about Axl Rose. I like the high Axl Rose vo voice. I do not like the low Axl Roy Rose voice. I like, I like all the Tom Waits ones. I know I said the word wrong about 10 times. Just get over it, okay? I spent it. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm pogged. <clears throat> One of these, okay. I don't believe it. Believe it or not, you son of a bitch, you're still gonna burn. It had to be turkey, huh? Just hydrate real quick. I'm going to let you do it today just because... Oh, I'm not dead. Um, just because it's like iOS release week, okay? So possibly you've been waiting your whole life, as sad as that is. You know what? Take me to a level three goat. I don't even care. Like, let's... let's. I'm not even going to look to see if it would give me an achievement. I'm just going to assume that it would give me a... Fuck you. Wait, I get money back. My money. You piece of shit. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Return the menu. Goat already has a badge, man. That's great. Wait, wait, wait. You know Ladybug's got a badge. Don't even. Okay. Buffalo badged. Skunk must be badged. Tiger. Tiger is not badged. And it's level three. This could be worth, this could, this could change my life. I don't think we're going to win, though. It's not turkey, tiger, fly. The heck is, we're losing. <laughs> We've lost. Still, okay, okay. 
Fly doesn't have a badge. I, you know, I live by the principles that I espouse most of the time. Anyway, we pay out the believers. But also, yes, by the way, CDs did used to be like $23. If you wanted a cool CD, sometimes it was more expensive too. Be a rolling rodent. It's like a Legends of the Hidden Temple name. That's pretty crazy. I'm deliberately avoiding saying nuts for the CDs pun, but... It's true. It was, I mean, the music was expensive, man. People would, like, actually buy music videos, too, which is a crazy thought looking back. Like, you would go into... You would love a music video that you saw on Much Music so much that you would go buy the music video for, like, $30 from HMV. You're like, oh, I just really want to see Scream by Michael and Janet Jackson over and over again. Maybe you would? I never bought that, man. I can't monopolize the VHS like that. Or the VCR. Ah, sheep's good enough for now. I gotta get my head in the game, man. I paid, like, less than zero attention. We've been paying out the believers at a, at a prodigious pace, though. That's good. It's kind of crazy to me that they still make music videos at all, like, to begin with. I guess they need something to put on the track on YouTube. They can't just put the album art. Get sold. Get bought. Get sick. I'm going to try something. Yeah, some music videos have some cool, cool visuals. Like, um, Limp Biscuits um, Rearranged, where they drown in a prison made of milk. That one, that one really... When you said cool visuals, that was the first thing that popped into my mind. Frick you and me, you gotta, gotta frick you and me. <sighs> I'm pogging, it's Bacta. It's not Bacta. We just did it for like a second, okay? For but a but a briefest moment. On the on the other hand though. Got some pretty pretty interesting Bacta consequences here. I do want it. Ooh. Yeah, I think realistically, when I look at this team, I think it's a team made of losers. I think we could freeze a snail here. I think the believers don't cry. We're going to be fine. Christina Aguilera, Genie, Genie in a Bottle was the highlight video of my preteen years. You know, you basically just like, you might be able to get away with that in the office, but on the internet, we're all very savvy. You basically just told us like what you jerked off to when you were going through puberty. It's a little messed up. I didn't need to know that about you. That being said, I was more of an oops, I did it again, man. That being said, they are a couple of years separated. Like, I do think that uh, there was like one like March break in fifth grade where every boy in the class went away a boy and came back a man. And I think it, it coincided with the release of the Hit Me Baby One More Time music video. It happened like overnight. It was like, well, not overnight, but in a fortnight. Like two weeks later, you come back to class and all the boys are like, eh, yeah, yeah, voice reveal. Hold on, I'm paying attention. Thank you. I'm paying attention. I, you know what? Perhaps I was too harsh to get rid of a turtle in all earlier opportunities. We will get rid of our fish next. The squad is kind of cracked. Fortnite and cola? Yippee?
Very true. This is very true. 13, 12 horse. Holy cow, man. Who else remembers Fergie's London Bridge music video? Bro, don't ever... Come on. I'm trying to help you here. Like, Genie in a Bottle is one thing, man, but the Fergie? The Fergie London Bridge music video? Come on. You can't tell anybody that. Don't ever tell anybody else that. Isn't that the one where she's wearing that stupid hat? Hold on. She's wearing like the 2007 hat. Fergie London Bridge music video. Oh no, she, she wears a tiara in parts of it. Bro, she's got the eyebrow, like, under her eyebrow pierced, like, straight out of 2006. I mean, I you know, it was the style at the time. I, I'm sorry. Like, I don't mean this to be insulting in that way. It's just... Just apologize, I guess. Okay, hold on. Good animals. Now we're talking. There you go, you little squirt. Think you're not really getting the benefit out of a turtle, but that's okay. Hold it, get oh, yeah, yeah, get sold, get bought, get scaled. This we sell a tropical fish eventually, and we roll a microbe, and we are gonna get 10 wins. Unless we lose before we get a microbe, which is completely possible. I watched your ranking every household short tier list. I have to ask if you know how to change duvet covers now. I did. I Chat told me how to change a duvet cover. I used to just dive inside of the cover with the duvet and try to like spelunk my way to the corners. But now they were like, you just got to turn it inside out. And then you like put the far corners in and then you turn it right side in. And I was like, that makes way more sense. I can win this. This is winnable. Still winnable. Still winnable. Thank you. I'll take a draw. Use a fan to inflate it. That is what separates saved um, man from beast is use of tools. So I do respect that, but I'm not going to do that. Come on. That's just too much. Just put that shit on the bed. You got to There's a cover and then there's the actual blanket that's inside of the cover. There's two different aspects to consider. You seem to merely be considering one of the aspects. I mean, I guess we might as well keep you going, man. Why not? Microbe? Microbe me? Microbe? Do you crawl inside the duvet as well to change the feathers? No. I suppose, like, if you wanted to make everything as clean as possible, is that, that your point? The point is that it would make everything... The only way to get truly clean is to do that. I mean, that seems a little bit reductive to me. Even then, you know, even if you clean the feathers, have you actually cleaned all of the atoms inside each of the feathers? I don't think so. So, like, I... I <laughs> forgive me, I think you're being perhaps a little bit... ridiculous. Take one of these first. I think we go pretty pog here. Please focus. It's in God's hands. Unless we go up against turtles, I think we're gonna we're gonna slap, man. Like this seems okay to me. Without a doubt, this seems okay to me. We're going off. Definitely we like this. 
definitely we we give this a try i do think if we could get a level three octopus that would be a dream come true but we got a long way to go Ooh, pizza a pizza oh <laughs> My servers they're not broken they're just kind of slow this is okay this is this is poggable okay good stuff why no stake for the microbe i have to be very prudent with my financial choices let's i want to look at something i want to look at seal peacock turtle dromedary Dromedary needs it. Microbe needs it. Seal does not need it. But it, it can't leave. Like, Peacock doesn't need it. Okay, so don't worry about leveling the Peacock. Turtle, there's, do we need, hold on. Turtle? Peacocka? Turtle, do you need it? Turtle, 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 does not need it, okay. I mean, it, turtle is just kind of cracked, though. Just in general, getting another uh, another melon is kind of sick. So, just start me here. That's just the right play. Then we want our dromedary or our microbe to level. Please hit. Oh, you're too good to me. Like that's insane, man. And then for now, we have to be so good. You know what? Start me with that. I think you're right. But we're gonna try to level this dromedary or the or the microbe next. Those are the big ones. If we live, which is always in flux. But we also need the turtle to eat, or the, the seal to eat, which is like a problem. We got we're getting pulled in two different directions right now. Like we need to make sure you're still scaling, even though we need the experience for all of our other units. I mean, it would just be nice to get a 10 win today. That would also appeal to me, I guess. We got three wins to go. We, we, got, we got a ways to go. We got a ways to go here. Stop telling me I'm pushing P. I don't know what it means, except I know that it's like a TikTok meme. Even that, it's one of those things people won't tell you what it is. I had to like, like somebody linked me a TikTok and then the person's profile was like, I'm just a college freshman pushing P and trying to make it in the world or whatever. I don't know what it means. You think it's gonna recover? The battle, you're right, is censored because it's so gory. The microbe is making everybody throw up and then, ah, okay, we're, here, we're here. If I lose after that, I'm filing a class action lawsuit. Easiest win in my life. Yummy, yummy. I'm going for it, man. We got eight wins. We got to go for it. Dromedaries and microbes or chocolate. I didn't even feed the damn seal. That's that's where I'm at right now. 50-50? What is this? The best, the best Seth Rogen? One of the best Seth Rogen? Okay. Uh, we'll choose prediction and give that a yes. Okay. 